unto you my father we are surrendering all unto you father lord we are surrendering all unto you oh god in the name of jesus we worship your name oh god we worship your name oh god we worship your name oh god in the name of jesus oh god oh father we worship father we worship your name jehovah god in the mighty name of jesus Wakupe 
Father, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. Thank you for our lives, O oh Lord. Thank you for bringing us in your presence, O oh Jesus. As we want to begin this service, O oh Jesus, we pray that you may take control, that you may start with us and end with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us give a mighty clap to Jesus as as we celebrate for his doing, he has done as well. He is an amazing God. And we all sing in our souls. And we sing to God and we say, he has done me well because he has been faithful. I don't know where you would be today. I don't know. Langati, just, you, you just carry on with that song. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus, you have done me well, you have done me well, you have done me well, Jesus, you have done me well, you have done me well. of the Lord and for his masses. We would not be here. We wouldn't be where we are today. He has done us well. He has favored us. He has loved us free of charge. We have given him nothing. And so we have a good reason. Whenever we are in the presence of the Lord, just to release ourselves and surrender to him, to tell him, take control of our lives like you have done it, continue doing it, and forever do it for us. For we do not hold anything for our own. It is all from our God. We thank the Lord. Let us give a mighty clap to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we go straight to the prayer, our prayer books, our prayer books, page three. As we carry on with our adult service, the Lord be with you. And also with you. We have come together, the people of God, drawn by his spirit, longing for his word, to praise the holy name of the Lord, to share, to share his glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world, to rejoice in his love and be sent in his peace. We are heirs of the Father, joint heirs with the Son, renewed in the Spirit. Together we are one. If a wicked man turns away from the wickedness he has committed and does what is just and right, he will save his life. Whom have I in heaven but you? And others, nothing I desire besides him. If we say we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins in repentance and trust, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins. So let us confess them to our Father. Together we pray. Eternal Father, God, God of our ancestors, ancestors before your, your power, power opens trouble, but through your Son we approach your throne. We have done wrong, wrong and neglected to do right. right. Our, our sins, sins we have revealed in our hearts. Lord, Lord have mercy, count them not against us. 
Grant us the joy of forgiveness and the lighting of our hearts with the glory of Christ who died and rose again for us. Amen. 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 Grant us your pardon and peace that Christ from our sins and with peace in our hearts. We pray we may be free to serve you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are those who live in your house. They will always be singing your praise. Praise the Lord. The name of the Lord be praised. As we rise up, glory to the Father in whom all things began. Glory to the Son who became the Son of Man. Glory to the Spirit who inspires and renew the Lord of God forever. Amen. Asante Yesu, Asante Yesu, Asante Yesu, Asante Yesu, Asante sana bona Yesu, Asante Yesu, Asante sana bona Yesu, Asante Yesu. standing we face article 17 the apostles creed we stand together with the christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today to affirm our faith in the words of the apostles creed i, I believe in god, god the, the father, father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under portions pilate was crucified and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also be with you. Let us pray. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find a knock and door shall be open unto you. Savior taught us we are about to pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, come your, your will be done, done on others in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O oh Lord. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide our president. And give him your wisdom and justice. Your ministers serve you faithfully. And their loyal people joyfully. In the valley of the shadow of death. Protect us with your Lord and staff. Like trees planted by the water side. Grant us of the fruit of your spirit. Send us out as the salt of the earth. And as the light of the world. May the earth be filled with your glory. As the waters covers the sea. We read the collect for the day. Today it is the sixth Sunday of Easter, the Sunday after Ascension. Let us pray. Almighty Father, in our efforts to fulfill the great commission of our Lord, help us to remember that it is Jesus who equips and directs us our mission. Focus. For on our own we are helpless and foolish. Grant us the grace to depend on you in all of our difficulties and to exercise humility in times of success that all glory, honor, and praise may belong to Jesus, our Master and King, now and forever. Amen. We continue with the prayers, Article 23, Mary Wamboy. Prayer for peace, O God, creator of peace and love of unity, throw in you we have eternal life and serve in you we find perfect freedom. Defend us in all attacks of our enemy, so that trusting only in your defense, we may be free from all fear. Through the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for the nation of Kenya. Almighty God, you rule all nations and direct them according to your will. We pray that you will guide the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, and his Deputy William Ruto and all leaders of our country, so that they may always use the authority which you have given them for the peace of the world, the benefit, honor, and development of our nation, and the good of your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for church, almighty and eternal God, the only source of power, grant to our bishop, pastors, and all the people of our churches, your health-giving spirit of grace, and in order they may truly please you, Pour on them the continued dwell of your blessing. Grant this for the sake of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we pray, Article 28 and 29, I'd like us to open our hymn books. The song number 32. Langat, you lead us with that song, number 32, with my brother Gadson. Page 20. Our hymn books, page 20, hymn number 32. Kanami ni usiku sana. Kanami ni usiku tena Usini ya chegiza ni wana
May we take one moment of silence in the presence of the Lord and just think of what God has done for you. Think of the things that you are going through. Think of the mountains you see ahead of you. Think of the traps that you think the devil is setting ahead of you. And think of a God who cares. Think of a God who sees it all. Think of a God who cares even when you don't care. Think of a God who loves you even when you have nothing left in your heart. You have not even a drop of love to anyone. Think of a God who sees you in your dark moments. Think of a, of a God who takes you out of all damages. Think of a God who cares at this very moment. We are facing difficulties in life. We are facing hard things. The cost of living has really gone high. The diseases have emerged from every corner, left, right and center. People are crying for sicknesses. People are looking forward for healing. And there are people who, even, who have not held, healed even in their hearts. Think of a God who is able to do it all. Exceedingly above all we could ever even think or imagine. He is a God who sees deep in your heart. Your silence, God, is full, irresistible. Your presence, Father, is joy unspeakable. People drifting into mind, we lift them to you. And dear Lord, we pray that they may find health in sickness. Dear God, we pray they find life in deadness. Abba Father, give them strength in weakness. You as the light of the world, we pray that God, you may provide light in every dark moment they go through. For their loss you bear mysteriously. Your peace, Father, you share eternally through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Article 29, we pray the prayer of St. Chrysostom together, church. Almighty God, by your grace we have come together at this time to bring our united prayers to you. And you have promised by your son Jesus Christ that where two or three are gathered in his name, he will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the world to come life everlasting through jesus christ our lord amen. amen the lord be with you and also be with you we have landed to the end of our morning prayers and at this time because those who know their god they shall do exploits and those who know their god they shall serve him like never before. so let us rise up on our feet we call our variable team praise and worship our very own we go before the lord with praises for what else can we give the lord what else has he given to us that we, he deserves, if not our praise, if not our worship for him? So let us prepare ourselves, church. We praise like we may, shall never praise again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Buona sifiwe. Amen. Buona sifiwe. Yeni Yesu makofi Haleluya Shambwe na vigele gele kuyus Jesus Yeni Yesu makofi
makofi wa Bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to sing songs say Bo Hadi e Messia Mo ga mo ya ho hala le la se mo hadi mo hadi Take a moment, go before the Lord this wonderful morning. Just worship the Lord with all your heart. Just go before the Lord. Just talk to God this wonderful day. God has done it so many things. God has done so much in your life. Just go before him. Just pray. Take a minute. It's your time. It's your time to go before the Lord. It's your time to just talk to God. It's not all about singing. It's not all about Praising is not all about doing what it's about to worship and to pray. The key of everything is how to pray. You just pray. Go before the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship your name, oh God. We give you glory, Jehovah God. We praise your name, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. We give you glory and adore your name, Jehovah God. Because you are Jehovah, is your name, Abba Father. Jehovah is your holy name, oh God. We worship you are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords, Abba Father. We surrender to you, oh God. We honor your name, Jesus, oh God. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Sing it, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, mighty Yote 
Unifanye kuwa kama upenda ko kwa Mungu to meet with King David and ask him some few questions like how did you praise it is okay to praise but how did you praise until your clothes wet take you took off your clothes how did you do this and probably David will get an answer here that uh, it is because of what the devil had made me go through that I praise like this and today, church, I do not know what you have gone through, what the devil has made you go through, but it requires an angry person to jump before the Lord, to shout before the Lord, to sing in the presence of the Lord like never before. Because if you look at your life, you look at where you are, you tell somebody and you testify to them. Did you know how long I stayed after finishing university before I got a job? Did you know how reckless my life looked like when I finished high school? and I have nothing and I had no hope that is the reason I praise that is the reason when I look back and see where I have come from when I look at my family how it has struggled for me to get where I am that is the reason I praise when I see how the devil took advantage of me when I was naive when I didn't have any knowledge that is the reason I praise when I came into realization I'm finding myself after being lost for so long that is the reason I praise. When I was left alone, my parents left me, my father left me, my mother left me. When I look back and see where I have come and where I am today, that is the reason I praise. And today, church, we need angry people with the devil so that we can praise the Lord. We need angry people so that we can glorify the Lord, so that the Lord can open many doors. And you know, probably, you get shocked why people praise and you do not praise like that that is probably the reason why you are still struggling that could be the reason probably why the devil is still torturing you why does the devil continue torturing you because you have not realized what makes him what makes him angry it is when you praise the lord when you shout to the lord the devil flees from your presence when you praise to the lord the devil walks away out of your life and he leaves you and so today we declare we do not have partnership with the devil we declare we do not have partnership with the enemy we get good jobs we shall get families we to rise and we shall be successful in the name of Jesus can we give a God our praise a five minutes by five second praise we clap to the Lord and when we get good jobs we bring tithes in the house of the Lord we bring offerings in the presence of the Lord and we live a healed life when we get to be blessed we praise the Lord of our life have nothing left to do than to glorify his name and for us who are young when the fullness in the fullness of time and when the time is right we celebrate you 
in the holy matrimony. And you shall be blessed by the Lord. For he whom the Lord blesses, nobody can curse. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And oh may the Lord do you good. May he fulfill every single prayer that you prayed. May he see down, deep down in your heart, that which you have been crying for him. May he hear you and may he do it according to his riches in glory. In the name of God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us give God a shout as we sit down. As we sit down in the presence of the Lord, I will send the ushers to you in the spirit of excellence. They may give you the envelopes tithe, thanksgiving, any form of offering that you would like to honor the Lord today with, may the ushers reach you right now. And at this very time, I would call upon our secretary to give us quickly the announcement that we have in the house so that we can be blessed in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us clap for Cindy. A better one, a better one, a better one. You can do better than that. Amen. Amen. Where else can we get motivation if not in the presence of the Lord? Welcome, Secretary. Thank you, John. Uh, praise the Lord, Church. Praise God. Come on, guys. Praise the Lord, Church. Amen. That's more like it. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning. Um, karibu nisana to our service. Uh, is there anyone visiting us for the first time? Or it's been a while since you've visited us? Just by a show of hands. Thank you so much. We have our sister there. Tumkaribisheni, karibu sana. Feel at home and at church. I would like to say thank you for Mary Wamboy, Kamau, Patrick, uh, Rib and Victor for standing on my behalf when I was not in. So na shukuru sana. To the first notice, uh, the ushers are requesting you guys, like when we finish the service, let us all just... Um, go back with our hymn books and prayer books at the back to enable like that process to be easier for them uh, instead of them coming to collect them on the benches once the service is over. And I'm also uh, being informed that our Bible study will be back in the month of June and we'd like to hear from you so you can even see the ushers for more feedback from you guys. So you can see them uh, once the service is over so that we can be able to make arrangements for our Bible study, which usually happen immediately after the service at the church hall. You can see Patrick, Patrick, by a show of hands. Yeah, you can see him for more feedback, yeah? On to the major announcements. Uh, this is from our evangelist Nganga. Uh, he's giving us the confirmation dates, which on 4th of June, we'll have the first rehearsal. On 8th of July, there will be the second rehearsal on 17th of July, it will be the Thanksgiving service at the afternoon. And on 31st July, it will be the confirmation date. All parents uh, are requested to fill the confirmation forms and return them with 800 shillings. 500 will cater for their certificate and 300 will cater for the scarves and ties. And you're requested to kindly return this as soon as you return them together the money and the form to enable the process to run smoothly. I have an announcement here. Susie, kindly stand up. Yes, you can stand up. The family of Janet, Njeri, Gishiri, and the organizing committee are cordially inviting you to a fundraising of 2.5 million in aid of her grandson, Peter Ndongo Ngiri, Soch, who was diagnosed with kidney failure on February 2021. He has been on dialysis since June 2021 and urgently needs the transplant. The event will be held on 19th June 2022 at ACK St. John's Church Grounds, Wemuto from 2 p.m. Your presence, prayer, and generous contribution will be highly appreciated. Uh, so the lady standing is Susan. Um, the one whose fundraising will happen on 19th is her husband. So kindly, guys, let's hold her hand in this journey. So if you have anything, you can see her after the service, or even for more details, you can see her. Thank you so much. Yes. So the family of Philip Gishimo and the organizing committee cordially invites you to a fundraising towards rising of a hospital bill for Philip, who is undergoing 
colon cancer treatment, which stands at 500,000, to be held on 5th of June 2022 at PEFA Church Memuto, starting at 2 p.m. I have a death announcement. The family of the late Margaret Wanjiko is saddened to announce the passing of their beloved mother. Family members are Family prayers and funeral arrangements are ongoing at her residence in Getwamba Moimuto. The burial date will be the 27th of May, 2022, at ACK St. John's Moimuto at 11 a.m. Um, our late mom incurred a huge bill of uh, 1 million shilling, which should be payable before the burial. You are requested to contribute generously during Amini Harambe today at their premises and there will also be a prayer service at their home at 2 p.m. There's a thanksgiving letter from the family of Mr. Waihombu um, for how you guys held their hands during the burial of their son. They are grateful for that and they're also reminding you that there will be a Harambe on the 12th of June 2022 to clear the outstanding bill that was left of 1.1 million. Um, for more info in that family, you can talk to Karanja. Yes, that will be all for today. May the good God be with you, see you through as we meet the next Sunday. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for Cynthia. Let us uh, give her a good clap. And uh, uh, after, uh, I've just listened to those announcements. I don't know if you all pay attention. I'd like us to reconsider thinking deep about supporting our brother Soj. Praise the Lord, church. With the little we have, say after me, with the little we have, with the little we have, we will support Soj. We will support Soj. We, have, we do very well in projects, we do very well in other things, but we do not remember. We sometimes, if we, we tend not to, to remember the word of God that says, I was sick, you never rendered any hand. I was hungry, I needed food. Who was that? It was Jesus. Was it? It was Jesus. And he comes in many forms. And so together we stand, together as united as we are, we shall support our brother and see him victoriously go through the transplant and he shall come out very much healed. Let us give a mighty clap because we know it is possible. With God, it is possible. And right now, I'd like to call upon the praise and worship to give us a song of praise as we praise, as we bring forward our offerings, our tithes, our offerings, and let the, uh, the tithers kneel down in the altar. There is power in the altar of God that we may be able to pray for you. And the rest of the, the church, we remain standing for that wonderful praise that uh, Langat is going to lead us into. Amen. Hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh, mama. Hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh, mama. Yo, hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh, mama. Hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh, mama. Hey Yahweh, hey Yahweh, mama.
is in the book of Psalms chapter 20. And as I declare this to the tithers and all those who have given their offerings, listen to it. This is your word. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept all your burnt offerings. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We thank you, dear Lord, for your servants who are kneeling before you. We thank you, Lord, for you have provided to them in abundance, O oh Lord. And they have brought their 10% to you, Lord. We thank you for that, what they have done. And we do pray, Father, that whatever they have remained with, the 90%, Lord, you may multiply it, O oh God. And may you make them prosperous because you're wonderful and you're great. Thank you for all those who have given their offerings, Lord. We thank you for them and for all of us and those who didn't have, Lord. We pray that you, Jehovah Jireh, you may provide in abundance, Father, that we may have something to bring to your house. We now thank you, Lord, for calling us, Lord, to serve you with our finances, O Lord. And we pray that you may provide in abundance, Lord, that we may continue serving you in that style and in that way. In Jesus' name we pray, trust, and believe. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Let us carry on as we listen to the word of God. Sifu buwana, sifu buwana daima, moyo wangu, sifu buwana daima. Sifu buwana, sifu buwana daima, moyo wangu, sifu buwana daima. Oh, sifu buwana, sifu buwana daima, moyo wangu, sifu buwana daima. from you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's have our seats. Good morning and praise God. Good morning. Praise God. Are you well today? Are you blessed? If you're happy and you know, say amen. Shout amen. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, stand up. I can see those who are happy. Let's have our seats. I am born again this morning. My name is Joshua Jenga, and I am glad to be standing before you. It has taken the, the grace of God for me to be where I am. Born as the favorite. And I'm so happy to see you from this end. You look so nice. I always tell you that. And you look so beautiful. The ladies, hi. The gentlemen, bo. Yes, I hear you are there. And I thank God because we are all here. And God has been so gracious to us. I love singing. You know that. And there is this song that I love so much. Do you know that song? Do you know that song? Eh, rangati ungeku kona mai kutuongoza yos Tanzania moja na chorus says we tell God. Amen. The nasi and this song, let it eat. And we realize it is not us. It is God who has been with us. Amen. And it is God who will continue to be with, with us. Amen. Oh, 
Thank you so much, Lerida, for officiating very well. And to our reverend, I am so humbled, even if he is not in this service, to get such an opportunity to stand before you. I thank my mentor and my vicar, Reverend Tino. And uh, without much ado, I want us to go direct to the word of God, which will come from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 19. Ephesians, chapter 2 verse 19. And we shall also read the book of First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. And Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19 says, Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Christ himself as the cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you too are built, are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. But verse 19 is what I would desire us to concentrate on, that consequently you are no longer foreigners. Praise be to God. Tell your neighbor you are no longer a foreigner. A citizen is a person who enjoys all the privileges, all the rights in a country, either by being born in a country, all by registration, or maybe your parents migrated or relocated to another country and you were born there, you definitely become a citizen. And most of us, if not all of us, all of us desire to go and live in America. How many are like me? Yes, pato ako pale, tutaenda skumoja. So, most of us or all of us desire to go and live to those countries, UK, United States of America, 
and the rest wangapi wanapenda kuenda huko Saudi Arabia hata kuko ni huko ni muremo huko ni abroad but nobody would desire to go to live there most of us go there to work but who would desire to be a citizen of America a citizen in uh, United Kingdom Germany France name them but today we are citizens in Kenya amen and we enjoy all the rights you can walk in the night you can go anywhere the 47 counties you only need to produce your identity card and you are recognized as a citizen of Kenya amen and the privileges we enjoy is because we are not foreigners ask a Somali ask those people who come from Ethiopia and they do not have identity cards to show that they are citizens in Kenya ask the Chinese who are here they don't leave as if they are home but they live as foreigners because this is not their country amen but we are Kenyans we enjoy all the rights we can walk into a supermarket without any question you can walk into a bank without any question you can go you can build you can celebrate because this is your country this is my country but if you are a foreigner ask those who have gone to the united states or those who have gone to the united kingdom and before you become a citizen you have to live there for a minimum of five years you have to apply, you have to keep applying, and you have to go there with a reason. It's either you're going for, for studies, it's either you're going there because your relatives have invited you, it's either you're going there because you have won a green card rotary, it's either you're going there because you have a reason to prove why you are going there. And if that reason is not approved, you're not welcome into their country. Amen? But we are citizens in Kenya. The same way we are compared by Paul writing to Ephesians, telling them that you are no longer foreigners. By the fact that Christ has descended on you, by the fact that you dwell with the apostles, by the fact that you have accepted Christ, you are no longer foreigners. And a, a citizen always is proud of their country. Are you proud of Kenya? A citizen is proud of his or her motherland. A citizen improves his or her country. You invest, those who go out there, they invest and they build flats, they buy land here, they build or they bring up companies which will help their motherland. Because east or west, can I hear that loudly? East or west, home is the best. So Christ is our brother. And we are called heirs with the son. And him being our brother, we are also heirs of the kingdom of God. And that is why we are called citizens not foreigners my brothers and sisters and today i want us to understand that being a citizen it is a great privilege being a christian it is a great privilege being a son and a daughter of god it is a great privilege because he says we were not bought with the animal's blood but we were bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. And therefore my brothers and sisters. It is our time to invest in the kingdom of God. It is our time to continue extending the kingdom of God. Which we belong in. The family uh, men and women who are here. We are always proud when our children or our spouses all smart all not hungry our houses are well pimped 
our homesteads are beautiful, true or false? Because that is where we live. Amen? We develop where we live. It is our time, dear brothers and sisters, that we develop where we live because God is calling us not aliens, not foreigners, but citizens. Amen? And in the book of uh, First Peter, chapter, nine, chapter 2, verse 9, it says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. You are a chosen person. Can I hear an amen? You are a chosen priesthood. God knows you by the name. God knows you by even how you look. God knows your beginning and your end. God knows who you will become after here. God knows why you are in whichever state you are in. Because he knows us. You are a chosen people. A people belonging to God. It is not only a people, but a people belonging to God. And whatever you own, you always want it to be in good shape. True or false? Whatever you own, you take care of it. Whatever you own, you look after that you what you own. Whatever you own, you are jealous with it against any distractions. So, God knows you. God knows me. God owns you. God looks after you and I. And God is able to safeguard us because we are his. Bwana Yesu sifiwe. Achana na wao wanakuulizanga, are you really a son of God or a daughter of God? Sasa wewe, and God created us in his own image, true or false? Ebu angalewe wewe unaiba yako umwambia, hai wewe unafanana na Mungu kweli? Mpaka huyo mweusi kama mimi. But we are created in the image of God. Suppose wazazi wenye wako hapa mpate katoto hakafanani na Bwana ama hakafanani na wewe. How will you feel? How would you feel? Mtoto hafanani na wazazi wake hata kidogo kutakuwa na chaos especially from the dad. Atauliza raka nako ni kaao. Si ni ukweli? Because a son should look like his father. A daughter should look like her mother. The same way we are created by God, he is calling us his. We should also look like him. True or false? We should also look like him. Right now we have the politics in our country. And we know all these people. And we have heard about them. But they want, today it is you, tomorrow it is your son. Because they want to say, like father, like son. We have Uhuru, his father was a president, true or false. We have Raida, his father was a, he was a, 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 a deputy president, true? Yes. Because they are looking at that, I want to be like my father. And you cannot emulate a person who is not good. We have to be role models. When we walk out of there, let us know that we look like our father. God owns us. God has chosen us. God is holding our hand. God cares about us. And in whatever capacity and in whatever we are going through, he knows us. Amen. He knows my name. He knows my every tear. He sees every without fault 
and hears me where and I call he knows he knows my name he knows on our feet and this morning I want us to declare I desire us that we may declare who we are in God's kingdom because we are not just bare seat warmers we are not just attendees we are not just those people we have a place in God's kingdom we have a place in God's heart no matter which tear that falls, no matter what goes on in our lives, no matter which family we come from, no matter what we are doing at the moment, we are God's chosen. I want us to lift our right hand and we declare, I am a chosen person. I am a royal priesthood. I am God's own. I declare that I will succeed. I declare that I will see a great future. I declare that I am a head and not the tail. I declare I am a victor. In Jesus name let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God because he is mighty. Let's celebrate, let's celebrate, let's celebrate. Amen, amen, amen. The Lord bless you. And may we continue to realize that we have a place in God's heart. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. He has done as well. That was so powerful. That was so powerful. Thank you so much. We want to thank you so, so much for coming through in this service. We have seen God, isn't it? Have we seen the presence of the Lord? We have felt the presence of the Lord. We have seen God and we will continue seeing God in every move we make in our lives. And as we start a new week, we know that the Lord is going to lead us according to his good plans that he has for us. Let us pray so that we can recess. Dear Lord, we thank you and we bless you. Thank you for the great opportunity you've given us. It is a privilege to come into your presence. It is a privilege and honor to come in your presence and to listen to you and for you to share with us, Lord, your mind. Thank you, God, for each and every one of us who have listened to the word of God and who have taken part in praising and even giving their sacrifices to you. We pray that, Lord, as we step out of this church, we will never be the same again. Our lives are going to be beautiful. People will testify on our behalf and our families will declare that truly we have seen God. We know that, Father, there are many things ahead of us. We have not lived even a quarter portion of our lives. Better days are ahead of us. And we pray that those days will be dominated by your presence and nothing will be stolen by the devil. And you will continue blessing each and every one of us. Even if you make a generation out of us, we have already surrendered it to you. That it shall be godly, it shall walk with the Lord, it shall not be a generation of darkness, it shall not be a generation of pain. We declare that our lives will be fully God and will be beautiful because all things happen for good for those who are called and always have the purpose of God in their lives. We thank you and we bless you in the name of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and gave eternal comfort and good hope through grace comfort our hearts and establish them in every good work and word. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless you. I've got my mind made up 
And I won't turn back Because I want to see my Jesus Someday I have got my mind made up And I won't turn back Because I want to see my Jesus Someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back I want to be my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, treasure. I made up my mind to go that way for the rest of my life.